Lucas Media. So as y'all can see in the thumbnail, uh, shout out to Say Cheese. 15 year old Demarion Tackett was arrested for deleting a 76 year old street vendor who was selling watermelons, right? Now here's the wild part. Tackett was out on bail. He was out on bail. And it, all of this comes from Fox 13 News down there in Memphis. Shout out to my people in Memphis. So not only was the young, the kid set out on bail, then he skipped court dates. And now he's being charged as an adult currently with no bond. Now in the state of Memphis, you're gonna get either two things, life in prison without the possibility of a parole or the death penalty. Now the kid, they were gonna try to give him a slap on the wrist. They were gonna try to find a reason to give him a slap on the wrist. They said he had he could only go certain things like school. So he probably was gonna be in the youth corrections until what, 21, just like how Pop Smoke, the uh, killer just got out. However, you're gonna skip court dates? You're gonna skip court for murder charges, man. What's wrong with you? But you know what? He 15, honestly, my son, I got, again, I got kids around that age. I gotta blame the community, man. I gotta blame the community, specifically his mother and father, whoever they are. Y'all son is out on bail for murder. He's out. They gave him a, they, they, they were trying to work with him, but you want to, you want to be down. You know what I'm saying? You want to be down with the, no, man, I ain't going to court, man, I ain't going to court. So not only are you skipping court, but now they might, that might cost you the rest of your life. You know, and that's the problem with us, honestly, man. You know, these young kids, man, these young black men, they think everything is a game. This internet got people thinking that this stuff is a game. So now you sitting in jail. Where was your mother at to make sure you went to the court dates? What was your father at to make sure you went to the court dates? Shouldn't have been doing this this stuff in the first place. Honestly, we're gonna keep it real. You know, you over there trying to rob and kill street vendors, but you know, this is the the culture that we, that we live in, man. This is what a lot of y'all like. Man, I ain't gonna say nothing to my son, man. He out there doing his thing. You supposed to know where your kids at at all times. You know, a lot of times, like I said, we have to go back to the parents failing the youth. So now he finna sit down. You know, he gonna. They go. They gonna make an example out of him. Y'all know if y'all look over to the photo on the left. Y'all know the type of brother that the person that was deleted. So you already know. Uh, he already got one, two strikes against him. You a young black kid, and look who you deleted. But then you gonna skip court because you think it's a game. Well, you may not get life, but you gonna probably do about sixty. So he be what seventy five. You know, by the time modern medicine advances, I mean he might live to be a hundred, hundred and fifteen. You know, but like I said, we we as black people, man, we so ignorant to stuff like this. I remember a cousin, right? And I'm sure some of y'all got people like this. Had a cousin of mine. He thought he was so down. And I called myself, we was all kids, but I had a couple dollars. I called myself trying to bail him out, right? I done paid three hundred dollars to bail him out. They tell me, hey, he got a court date. And can y'all believe that this ninja skipped court? And when I asked him why he do it, man, I gotta go to work, bro. I gotta go to work, man. I can't miss my money. So you rather give up jail than just going to court. So not only did he end up going back to jail, but I didn't get my money back. But that's that ignorant checker game that we do. And I mean, honestly, I mean, I, we all grew up with kids like this. I know I did, especially growing up in the Midwest. Kids like this, you knew they weren't gonna make it past fifth, sixth, fifth, sixth grade. You know, I remember being in elementary school and one dude had a pistol on him in elementary school. And he showed it to me, you know, and I was like, wow. You know, but of course he ain't, he's no longer here with us, but you know, it's, a, it's just a fortunate situation. And then, you know, these parents, when, when they throw the, the book at him, you're going to see his family members crying. Oh, my baby. Oh, oh. No, man, no. You need to be making sure your kids is monitored. That boy should have been in, in summer camp. He should have been playing AAU ball. This is why you got to keep kids busy. You know, just like me and some of y'all, the people who was getting in trouble the most were the ones who had free time on their hands. You know what they say about an idle mind being the devil's playground? But you know, unfortunately, like I said, he 15, his, his brain ain't gonna process. But when he 25 and he's sitting in there, he 35 and he 45 and he 55 and he 65 and he's 75 and they probably still, he probably still gonna have to sit down for a minute. You know what I'm saying? He may, be, he, he, really, he may never get out of jail, but this is just an unfortunate situation. You know what I'm saying? So parents, please, black men, please be there for your sons. Please be there for your sons, man. You know what I'm saying? My son, I hope, hopefully he never's in a situation like this, right? But if he was, you think I would have this boy missing court date? I don't care if I got to miss work. I don't care missing making these type of videos, anything. Nothing's going to get in the way of that. You know what I'm saying? You being ignorant thinking that it's a game. This ain't PlayStation. There ain't no reset button in real life. You can't delete your uh, TikTok account and upload it again like it didn't exist. No, no, no. So no, nah, he going to have to sit down, man. It is. I'm sorry. It is what it is. It is what it is. You can't blame nobody but blame the parents. 
you know, and another another black life already gone, man, already gone. You know what I'm saying? And that old man, man, could you imagine living to be 76 years old, 76, and to have your life taken away by by you know, you know, one of these bad ass, misguided, traumatized kids, you know? But y'all will always want to blame everybody else, man. Oh man, it's their fault, man. They the reason why we out here robbing our grandmas. They the reason why we kicking doors in. They the reason why these 20 year old men are on the outside with their pants sagging, shooting dice. Y'all want to blame everybody else. I want to see the blame on the parents, man. This is sad, man. I'm just, like I said, man, sometimes I just wake up and I just, oh, man, it's, it's sad, man. We have fell back so far, so far as people, man. We have. Could you imagine if our civil rights leaders woke up today and seen how we are, how our inner cities is? But I just want to get my quick thoughts about it and tell me what y'all think.